Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be making minced meat with pasta shells. So let's begin. Right, so I've got my frying pan here and I'm going to add about four or five tablespoons of olive oil and it would be a good idea to turn this on, wouldn't it? So I'll turn it up to number eight. And I've got my water here for the pasta shells. So we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll add the minced meat and the vegetables. Okay, so once the oil is hot, hotish, I'll add in the minced meat. This is pork, half pork and half um, beef. It's the one that I use always to make meatballs, to make um, burgers. And what I'll also do is add the red pepper, onion, garlic and mushroom. They're just, um, um, I don't know, uh, two garlic cloves, about three or four mushrooms, about half an onion, and a bit of red pepper, all finely chopped up. You can add more if you want, you know, or you can add less. It's up to you. If you decide to make this recipe, then just play about with it, you know. There's no, there's no set amount at all to your own lighting. You're the one that's going to be eating it, isn't it? So, you should know what you like and don't like. Okay, and to this I'm going to add a bit of salt. And we'll just fry this until it's um, well, until it's done, basically, until the the meat is sort of changed colour and the vegetables are like soft. And then we'll add the rest. And obviously, we'll give it a move about every now and then, so it gets cooked on all sides. Smelling good already. So let's have a look at this, it's looking good, and there's just slight pink on some bits of the meat, but once I've turned this all over and give it a good mix, it should all be ready for the next step, which will be to add the herbs or spices, and the white wine also. And I'm using a today I'm using a, a chicken stock cube which is easy to crumble in. The other that I've got the meat and the vegetable ones. They're just sticky. And they're a nightmare. You can't just crumble it in, you have to break it into bits. Right. So let's um Let's crumble in the stock cube. If you don't have chicken stock cube, you know, vegetable or meat, it's fine. Well, there you go. So that's crumbled in. Um, I'm going to sprinkle a bit of um, sweet paprika. No set amount. Well, I wouldn't go more than one teaspoon. A bit of pepper, multicolored pepper, black pepper, or white, whatever you want, to your liking also. And some oregano. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in. As I said, I wouldn't go more than one 
teaspoon. Some thyme. Sprinkle it a little bit in as well. Obviously all to my own liking, you know. You can add more if you want. You can add the whole lot if you want. I wouldn't advise it though. And some rosemary. Um, right. And I'm going to add the glass of white wine. If you don't have white wine, don't worry. Just add a bit of water. A glass of water. Obviously I prefer to get it drunk, you know. Look at that, lovely. So I'll give it all a nice mix. And just leave it here. Still on the same temperature, it's number 8 today. I'm going to turn it down to number 7. Because it's why I'll be using it later. I'll probably forget. So leave it there for about four to five minutes until. Oh, that smells. Mmm. Brilliant. Until the alcohol evaporates. And obviously, if you want, at this stage, you can put the, the water to, to heat up. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it there to heat up. It's a small ring, that one. Later on, once this is done, I'll just move it there, you know. So this is nearly done. It's been about three minutes. Cool. Smells gorgeous. Them herbs that I just put in. Right. I'm going to add now the fried tomato sauce. I haven't got my own. I'll leave a link below in the description of how I make my own sauce and put it into jars and that. The thing is I haven't had much time to do it so that's why I'm using one of these columns. Let's put some water in this and give it a shake. Let's shake it all about a bit. It's too much in there to go to waste isn't there? And this at a boiling I've got to turn it down to number five. I'm getting out of breath here. I've been getting out of breath lately since I've come out of hospital. Well, the last, I don't know, four or five days. I never used to get out of breath when I used to smoke. Now that I don't smoke, I haven't smoked since the 28th of April. I seem to get out of breath. I have to have a lay down. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. Let's see what he says or she. This is really nice and thickish, isn't it? Look at it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to cover this up. And right, that's how I do this. I always get mixed up here. Right, the water on there, better turn that right up. And this one, I whacked it up, let's whack it down. I'm going to put it to number five. And we'll wait for the water to boil, and then we'll add the pasta shells. They call them Piburun here, no idea why, because they should be called, if they're shells, they shouldn't be called shark, should they? So, well, I don't know. Let's wait for this to boil. Well, this tomato sauce is boiling a bit too quick for my liking, so I'm just going to turn it down right down to number one, just so that it maintains the heat, but doesn't bubble away, you know, because the sauce is in a perfect state right now. Take this out. 
hurry up because I'm hungry. Okay, so this is starting to boil. So I'll add the the pasta shells in, and obviously you cook them to your own liking. Just have a look. If you don't know, just have a look behind. It'll tell you roughly. It'll give you instructions on how to cook it and times and that. I usually cook mine for about 12 minutes or so. I like it sort of more on the salt side. So I'm going to add some salt to that also. And we'll move it about. And we'll just wait for this to... I'm going to turn this off. It's only on one, but I'll turn it off. And we'll just wait for this to cook. Okay, so the pasta is ready. So, I'd better drain the water out. Get this ready like that. Like that. I'll turn, turn the stove off and the extractor fan off and, you know, all the noise. And we'll, um... Just take this water out. You've seen me do this before, I think, haven't you? I could use one of them mesh strainers, you know, but I didn't fancy getting it out and I didn't fancy having to clean it up either. Right, so the pasta's there, done, and the sauce is here also. So now the question is. What would you do? Probably heard me do this, say this a thousand times. Would you add the pasta onto the sauce or the sauce onto the pasta? You know what I'm going to do, don't you? That's right. Sauce onto the pasta. For me, that is the correct way to do it. Maybe not for you, but I don't mind. So let's get all this sauce from this pan, all the bits and that. And let's put that there. And this will give it a nice mix about, you know. Let's do it with this. Oh, this is beautiful. Obviously this leftovers here. Maybe I will have it for dinner one evening. Or maybe I'd do a leftovers recipe, which is usually leftover pasta with two or three fried eggs, you know. Awesome. Okay, this is sorted. So, don't know what to do next. I'm not gonna bother um, serving it up on that. So, that's the, hope you can see it. That's today's recipe done, that's today's lunch. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Cheers.